Hello. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. I'm Jason Shapiro with Crowded Market Report. Here's my thoughts on today's market movement. So nothing really too unexpected here. We had some data come out that was a little bit weaker than expectations. And uh, given the narrative that we are now in, we saw bonds <clears throat> move up on that, which led to, you know, stocks moving up on the lower interest rates and the dollar moving down and for the most part commodities moving up um i would say if i had to nitpick um this was the bonds in particular two years so this was the weaker number they moved up this was the auction that ended up being better than expected and we closed off those highs not that big a deal but uh 30 years closed a lot more off the highs than that I don't think it's a huge deal but just something to pay attention to the only commodities I would say that didn't really move up today were some of the metals silver um, had a decent day um, but gold finished down on the day and uh, copper finished down on the day and I know I've talked about these being some of the the more uh, crowded trades that are out there right now um, <clears throat> the one thing I think is interesting is that this narrative of um, you know weaker numbers being what's positive for the stock market because it means the Fed can lower interest rates. If you go back a year, year and a half, um, the huge narrative with that was that the stock market was going to go down because there was a recession coming, and so the slower economic growth was seen as recessionary and very bad for the stock market at the time. And of course, that ended up being wrong. A because we never got the slower economic growth, um, and the market ended up ripping much higher. But now the slower economic growth is seen as the savior for the stock market because it means lower interest rates. And it just goes to show you how ridiculous narratives can be and how they change over time based really on the way that the market moves. Narrative chases the market, not the other way around, right? So it's something to keep in mind. The narrative has certainly switched massively now, which is why I continue to think that the risk reward has changed massively. Doesn't mean the stock market can't go up, um, but means that the risk reward has certainly changed from back then and we don't need to to look at anything other than how much the market has gone up since then to know that the risk reward has changed from there um <clears throat> i continue to not be very constructive on the stock market i continue to always say be careful when shorting the stock market um if the market is going to continue down a lot of times we get these three-day kind of anti-trend moves. If we assume that the trend is down, which is a huge assumption here, but let's just assume for a second that it is, you get a three-day rally, and usually the third day it fails. Well, tomorrow will be the third day of failure. So something to maybe keep an eye on for tomorrow. I see that Tesla earnings came out much better, or maybe they didn't come out much better, but the stock is is, is up, you know, 7 8% after hours. Um, <clears throat> so that's positive sort of reaction. Um, so let's see how the market does tomorrow. I think uh, it's probably going to move up at first, and then, you know, let's see where it goes on day three of this of this rally, and then we can kind of reevaluate the situation. All right. So those are my general thoughts for today. Um, always happy your question and comments. Please like our video if you like it. Please check us out on CrowdedMarketReport.com. Thank you.